Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss a topic that fired me up a little bit. I learned that there are young graduates and people in the oil and gas industry out there that are scared of discussing with others that are outside of the industry that they work in oil and gas. I posted a LinkedIn post a few days ago that mentioned a one-liner. If you're scared to tell people that you work in the oil and gas business, don't be. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video. Subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video below in the description box, so I, under the description box, so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell when you do subscribe, because I upload whenever I want. Well, let's get to the content. Did you know that I was so fired up in making this video or about this topic that I woke up in the middle of the night to record the first version of this video. When I looked at the recording of the video, I realized I was very incoherent because I was sleep deprived. So I'm glad that I'm re-recording another version of this video today. I'll start with discussing my personal reasons and their brief as to why you should be proud to work in the oil and gas industry or why you shouldn't tell people that you work in the energy business. Rather, you should tell people that you work in the oil and gas business. The first reason I believe that you should tell people that you work in the oil and gas business is that you're doing a disservice to yourself. You invested a number of years into studying the oil and gas industry and only to tell people that you work in the energy business or to sugarcoat people that you work in petroleum is, ha is a disservice to yourself. You're limiting an educational opportunity to those outside of the industry to give them your perspective as to why you even studied oil and gas to begin with, whether if it's for sustainability reasons or whether if it's for the petroleum engineering subdisciplines, the traditional petroleum engineering subdisciplines of drilling, completions, reservoir production, whatever their case may be, you are limiting the conversation to what it can be potentially a really good conversation, even though it can be heated if those that are external to the oil and gas industry are against what you are, what, what you've invested your time in. Now, it's also a disservice to other people because you're limiting them an educational opportunity. If they are misinformed about the oil and gas industry or if they do not know enough, Give them the opportunity to provide them resources or to explain to them of what exactly you do. If you're doing this to get more people to like you, you are misleading them because when they eventually figure out that you work in the oil and gas industry, is it worth keeping their relationship anyway if they're not willing to listen to you? That's a food for thought that I think you should think about. Now, the second reason I think as to why you should be proud working in the oil and gas industry is that there are multiple resources that discuss that oil and gas is a very important resource. We fuel the world to say the least. If you want to check out my two quick videos as to reasons why I love fossil fuels, I'll put them in the description box as well, just to give yourself some ammo whenever you do talk to people when they ask you what industry you work in. For instance, in oil and gas, you still provide about the world's majority about a low cost and affordable energy. If your references you want to be interested in to read more about what how much ammo you want in discussing with other people, I'll put that in the description box as well. The Moral Case of Fossil Fuels by Alex Epstein or Fossil Future by Alex Epstein. Ironically enough, Alex Epstein does not come from the oil and gas industry. He came to the conclusion by being an outsider coming from Chevy Chase, Maryland, that oil and gas is low cost, affordable, and it enhances human flourishing. So if you read some of his resources, and again, I understand the attention spans when it comes to these YouTube videos, I'm going to facilitate that for you to check out those resources yourself. Now I'm going to go ahead and read the comments from LinkedIn as the response to the post of why you should be proud to work in the oil and gas industry and not just the energy business. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my computer. The first comment comes from Harrison Perrin, and I'm reading this from most recent to least recent or the newest to oldest 
Oil and gas activity lifts up communities we operate in by providing jobs and through the payment of taxes and royalties. Eric Erickson mentioned, we are all literally solar engineers and associated specialists. Oil and gas products are simply organic batteries. If anyone argues, calmly explain photosynthesis to them. Own it and be proud of it. John Cassiano, without oil and gas, there's no other industry. We provide energy to keep people comfortable and safe. Everything is made from it, or it's used to manufacture or transport it. The people in oil and gas are the best. Reliable energy scarcity is the best, is the greatest threat to our society. Kate Hornbrook. I love what I do every day getting to tackle technical and chemical challenges. It is so rewarding. Plus, I love the people and camaraderie in this industry. Eric Everett. We provide heat, light, mobility, and building blocks to nearly everything you touch every day of the year. Our industry has done more to raise the standard of living of the world than any other industry on the planet. Not a bad way to spend your life, if you ask me. Suhail Ahmed. The motivation behind my choice to work in the oil and gas industry is my strong belief that petroleum is an essential component of virtually everything. As petroleum professionals, we play a critical role in meeting the world's basic needs by providing access to a wide range of essential resources that would otherwise be unattainable without oil and gas. Mohammed Muzamil, the exploration, production, and refinement and distribution of oil and gas are all a part of the petroleum industry, which is an important sector of the world economy. It is essential to addressing the energy needs of businesses and people around the world, people who are enthusiastic about energy technology and making a difference in the world a career in petroleum business may be interesting and fulfilling. Leslie Artrema, Armentrout, excuse me. Every day I have the opportunity to provide affordable energy and jobs to my fellow Americans. That's what keeps me going even when it's hard. And last but definitely not least, or actually there's more, I, I apologize. Even if I'm not working in the oil and gas industry, I'm very proud to try to work in that industry because I proudly say this industry is the mother of all engineers, mechanical, electrical, civil, chemical, electrical, and geologists. That's an interesting way to look at it. Syed Mohammed. I'm not a working professional, but I have a keen interest to join and I'm proud to be a petroleum engineer. Why should, be, why should people be scared? Irrespective of their stream, one should be proud of what they're doing and make themselves a comfortable space at work. And with that positivity, you can achieve anything in it anything and everything. Jeannie Perdue, oil and natural gas are the building blocks of civilization as we know it today. This industry is challenging, high tech, interesting and lucrative. And we get to work with some of the smartest people all over the world. What's not to love? Sana Samad, although I'm not a petroleum engineer, I am still proud to work in the oil and gas industry. I get to know the harsh realities of life. I've learned how to face challenges and take risk. Shamala Rajasekhar. The oil and gas industry is at the core of human civilization. I am proud that I get to be part of the industry that moves and safeguards the economy and is a lifeline to so many other industries. Vikram Moti. The oil and gas industry's worldwide economic impact and unmatched technological innovation setting sets it apart from other industries. Those are all the comments that are mentioned in this post. And I'm sure there's plenty other sentiments now, once I upload this video, there might be others that will provide their comments as well. So feel free to discuss that under the description box below. Well, that's it, folks. That's everything that I wanted to discuss in this brief video, reasons as to why you should be proud to work in the oil and gas industry and not sugarcoat to people that you work in the energy business. You are doing people a disservice. Energy fuels the world. And think of these other reasons from the various amounts of comments that I just read from the post that I posted a few days ago. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.